Hello and welcome. My name is Richie, and today I'm going to be talking to you about attributes.、Uh, I'm going to provide a guide as to what the attributes mean、uh, for each class and how to increase them.、Um, I will also put it in the description as well, a bit of a breakdown so that you guys can see if you want to look into that. Um, it is still important that you watch the video because I'll be covering lots of、um, points around how you can actually increase the attributes as well. So let's get stuck right into it.、Um, let's talk about the most important attribute first, and that is hit points. The reason that it's so important that you have high hit points is that in later game content,、um, when you're on your team raids, especially the heroic team raids. You need high hit points to be able to survive、uh, the large AOE damage that you that you'll get from participating in the raids.、Um, it's also, you know, it's also important that it's high so that it becomes easier for the mystics to be able to heal you.、Um, good ways to increase your hit points are obviously through gems. Firstly. So if you go into your equipment, you can see on where are my hit point ones here. So look, we've got some diamonds in there, increasing、uh, my hit points by two hundred and ten for each diamond.、Um, there are lots of other ones.、So、all the yellow stones are all the、uh, hit point increasing ones.、Um, the next way that you can obtain them is、uh, just by increasing your equipment. So if you go on your、um, Reforged, and you can keep reforging until you get、uh, higher increases. So you can see here on this、uh, legendary that I've got, I've got two hit point increases as well as the base hit points、um, as well. So it's it all adds up, and it, it does add up quite nicely.、Um, next is just leveling up your character, and that'll increase your hit points.、Um, the next is actually vitality. So if you go into your attributes here. Um, go into the advanced. You see vitality just below strength. My vitality is one hundred and forty-four. Now, for every vitality point that you have on your gear,、uh, that increases your hit points by fifteen. So, as you can see, quite significant and very important that you focus on it.、Um, also, upgrading your skills. So, if we go into skills and upgrading your path here, this increases your hit points. Um, and so does your rune upgrade as well. So for every one of these, you will get an increase in hit points.、Uh, so as you can see, lots of them. I think the lowest I've got on anything is level five. It's just because it's really cheap to upgrade at that level, and then it just gives you an increase in hit points. So you might as well do it.、Um, and then the other thing as well, if you go into your Where are we going? Into beasts. If you go into your guild hunt as well, doing these sorts of things, as you can see, the rewards are an increase in hit points. So, really would recommend doing that. I haven't done any because I've not focused on my guild up until this、uh, point in the game. Over the next month, I really will be putting some time and effort into that so that I can increase my attributes on my character.、Uh, the next. Method is if we go into where am I looking?、Um, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go?、Uh, over to my faction. That's what I want to do. So I think we need to go to achievements for that. So if we go down to faction, where is it? Up here.、Um, you can see on whichever one you're on, you do actually as you. Go increase through your faction. I cannot get my words out for some reason.、Um, you'll see here like fifty hit points increase, all that sort of thing. Again, another fifty. It's just it's worth doing,、um, especially just for for everything really. Your faction is something that's very important to focus on.、Um, now, let's move on to specific attributes to characters. So another thing I always get asked is, "Oh, I'm a ranger. What should I focus on? Or you know, what should a warrior focus on? Or a mystic?" Well, your attribute to your class for a ranger is agility. Now, for every agility point you have, that is one、um, increased physical damage that you'll get. For a warrior, it's strength. So for every one increased strength, it's again one increased 
physical damage. And for a mystic, it's intellect. Uh, so for every one intellect you get, that is one increased spell damage. So those are the ones you're going to want to focus on. Um, next, I think I did cover spirit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so spirit as well, actually. Yep. Yeah, that is every one spirit point that you have, you will get an increase of 50 mana points. And your mana points, as you'll know, are used for using your attacks or your heals. Um, and then as a mystic, no, not as a mystic, what have I skipped over to that? The other thing that I needed to say about spirit is not only will you get the 50 mana point increase, you'll also get one physical defense increase and one magical defense increase. So again, very important stuff. Um, next, let's move on to crit. So for the rangers and the warriors, uh, focus on getting your crit up. It just increases the chance of getting a critical hit, um, which obviously is what you're going to want to be doing to be maximizing your DPS. Uh, for the mystics out there, it's your spell crit. Uh, that also applies to healing crit as well. So, you know, make sure you put some focus into getting that. Yeah, you'll start to, well, at all, at all levels you'll see increases, but especially when you start focusing on, when you start getting to sort of 40% plus, you'll uh, you'll be seeing some real sort of DPS increases there, so really something to look at. Um, movement speed is another one, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere on here, uh, down there, 60 you can see, that speaks for itself, just means that you can move a bit faster. Uh, the next thing we should look at is piercing. So on physical, your piercing, what I'm going to do, hang on a minute, I've written it down actually, because there are so many. So your piercing uh, determines the value of ignoring your target's armour for a ranger and a warrior. Now the equivalent for that on a mystic is spell penetration. So this is something that's really good for PvP, if you're into that side of it. Um, and then you've got your hit rating as well. That's another important thing to focus on. Once you hit 100% hit rating, you'll never miss. Now there is an exception here. There's a, a raid boss, there may be more than one, that has sort of 10% defense on the hit rating. So you're going to want to be at least 110% uh, to make sure you hit every single time. Um, on the mystic side of it, it is the spell accuracy here that you're going to want to focus on. Um, now let's talk about dodge, parry, and evade for the mystics. It's, it, that all speaks for itself. It's just the chances of dodging, parrying, or... Um, or avoiding, evading, I should say, attacks uh, from both players and monsters. Um, and I think that covers just about everything. I mean, no, those are the things that are most important at the moment, I would say. Um, I just, I'm going to just check a minute. I don't think that there's anything else really that we need to cover other than how to increase your mana points um, again just because I covered it on hit points uh, in a few other ways uh, obviously to upgrade uh, via gems and um, uh, and through getting better equipment leveling up as well um, and, and increasing your spirit but that's already been covered um, now if I go into equipment no I don't need to do that Okay, so yeah, that does that absolutely wraps it up. We are we're done. We're done. You've got through it in nine minutes as well. Um, I'm going to talk another one minute so that I can try and get some more ad revenue. Why not? Um, let's talk about what I'll be doing in future videos. I've got I've still got this list of about thirty more that I want to release at least on guides at the moment. Um, I mean, anything from a faction guy to, to obviously all the team raids, all that sort of thing. I will say, though, the Speed Freak does... It, the Speed Freak is a different channel, I'll say, um, on YouTube. He does some excellent guides on, um, on team raids, especially when it comes to the coordination of it and how to get through it on the heroics. Really would recommend checking that out if you want to, if you want to get some more... Um, information on that, although I will 
I will obviously make a few myself in the future. Um, lots of other things, achievements guides, uh, your skills guides, maybe a bit more on that. Gold making, all that sort of thing. Um, and uh, and that's about it at the moment. If you know, if anyone would like to see anything else, please let me know. I'm always happy to to take your requests and and make it happen. Really, so that's about as much as I can say. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and goodbye. And before I finish, now there will be a few recommendations on the screen for videos that you can watch if you feel like watching. Thank you very much, and now it definitely is goodbye.